Okay, ready? We got five. Last four. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two more. Two, come on, you can do it. Last one. There we go. All right, guys, let's uh, grab some water, rehydrate, take five. Hi, I'm Jennifer Pulley, and welcome to NASA Connect, the show that connects you to math, science, technology, and NASA. In addition to being your host, I'm also a certified aerobics instructor. <laughs> hey, Jennifer, that was a great workout, but uh, I never knew I had so many stomach muscles. <laughs> we do. I hope it helps me in my training. Oh, what are you training for? I want to try out for my cross-country team and try out in a couple of weeks. RJ, that is super. How's your training going? Well, I guess it's okay, but I really don't have too much energy during the day. Well, have you researched what nutrients your body needs? Because then you have to estimate and measure portions to make sure that the nutrients are in there. And of course you have to have an exercise program. Measuring and estimating my nutritional needs? An exercise program? <laughs> Not really. I think I'm eating okay. Do I look overweight? No, not at all. Tell me, what did you eat for breakfast? I had a soda and a glazed honey bun. It's better than nothing. RJ, a soda and a glazed honey bun that's loaded with sugar. Yeah, the sugar provides me with energy. Yeah, but that energy doesn't last throughout the whole day, and that's why you get tired. You need something more substantial for breakfast. You know what I think? I think that we need to reevaluate and improve your nutrition and exercise program. And that way we can get you in tip top shape for the cross country tryouts. Okay. Guys, on today's program, we will stress the importance of good nutrition and exercise, especially in the adolescent years. And that means you. We will visit with NASA researchers to tell us what we can learn in space about our bodies here on Earth. And I will offer you a challenge at the end of the program. But before we talk more about nutrition and exercise and visit with NASA researchers, we must first understand the mathematical concepts for today's program, which are estimation and measurement. During the course of the program, you will be asked to answer several inquiry-based questions. After the questions appear on the screen, your teacher will pause the program to allow you time to answer and discuss the questions. This is your time to explore and become critical thinkers. Students working in groups take a few minutes to answer the following questions. Number one, what does it mean to measure and estimate? Two, are both math concepts related to each other? Explain. Three, give some examples of things that you measure and estimate every day. Now compare your answers to all three questions with other groups in your class. It is now time to pause the tape. You know guys, the math concepts of measurement and estimation are an essential part of our daily lives. Let's think about things that you measure on a daily basis. Well, you measure time with watches, weight with scales, and temperature with thermometers. You may think of such measurements as exact, but the accuracy of a measurement depends on the precision of the tool. In this sense, measurements can be thought of as estimations. Now let's think about things you estimate on a daily basis, like the length of time it takes to get ready in the morning, or how long you need to walk to the bus stop, or how much cereal you pour into the bowl. Estimation is a powerful mathematical idea that can be used both to solve problems and to check to see if our results are reasonable. You know, in reality, Things aren't always exact, and good estimation skills are really important for living successfully. For example, Norbert here wants to see if the Galactic Fitness 9000 treadmill will fit in his spare bedroom. The dimensions for the base of the treadmill are 1.8 meters by 0.9 meters. Norbert's calculator indicates that the base area of the treadmill is 16.2 square meters. Now, does the base area of 16.2 square meters for a treadmill seem reasonable to you? 16.2 square meters is about the size of Norbert's bedroom. That would mean the Galactic Fitness 9000 is a pretty big treadmill. Unless you tear down a wall, good luck trying to squeeze the treadmill through the door opening. Actually, Norbert forgot to enter the decimal point in 1.8 on his calculator. But, using mental math, Norbert's estimate suggested that the area of the treadmill should be about two meters by one meter, or two square meters. The actual base area of the treadmill is 1.62 square meters. In this case, Norbert used the estimation technique of rounding. Developing methods to check the reasonableness of results is vital to anyone working with numbers, especially engineers, 
scientists, and researchers. So now do you have a good idea about the concepts of measurement and estimation? You know, this would be a good time to pause the tape and review your answers to the three questions I asked you earlier. I just want to make sure you're on the right track.